Afternoon. All right, Michelle, thank you. Welcome. It is midday minute time. I'm sitting here with Tim Clark, Commissioner of the Buffalo Niagara Film Commission. We were just talking. You said you guys got started right after Bruce Almighty back in 2001. What was the purpose of the Film Commission getting started then? Well, it was funny because uh, Jim Carrey and uh, the folks from uh, Universal Pictures were here and uh, they were in just in love with Buffalo. They thought it was really a great place to you know, uh, to shoot a movie visually and, you know, architecturally, it just kind of blew them away. And so we at that time developed, uh, Cindy Abbott Leitro um, was the one who really uh, initiated the start of the Film Commission right after that. Talked with the county executive at the time and got it going, and here we are, 20 years later almost, and uh, and lots of movies behind us. Uh, lots of movies, and it, people keep saying all over social media that like, Buffalo is the new Hollywood. But <laughs> is that? And we have had some big movies we're going to talk about in a minute. But sure. how did we get here? Was it was it recruiting people, or yeah, are they now asking to come? It's a combination of things, Madison. It's it's funny because it's it really starts with the film tax incentive. So luckily, we went and lobbied. Uh, at the time was Senator Pat Gallivan who was who carried it through for the upstate bump it's right. called which gives gives filmmakers a little bit more to come upstate right and then once the movie started coming then crew began to develop we have the fastest growing um, area in upstate New York for uh, actually the largest crew base in upstate New York for IATSE which is you know the motion picture mechanics the people behind the scenes okay and so that was really important to grow the base uh, of the crew base and then there were so many other services and things that were needed here that really kind of came into being and have developed so there's people here making great wages and yeah. making a perfect living in the movie industry go figure in Buffalo but it happened huge names in those 20 years since you've been here. We've oh, yeah. got The Purge, Marshall, A Quiet Place Part 2, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Some some big films have come here. Some big films, uh, you know, it started small, you know, with the small indies, yeah. and then the big stuff started paying attention, and the big studios started paying attention, and yeah. um, we would visit the studios right. very often, too, and talk to uh, talk a lot about Buffalo. Yeah. And, uh, and, yeah, when they came, it changed our lives forever, for sure. We're very, very busy. And look at this. We're showing video of uh, director Addison Henry. Anderson oh, now who shot yeah. G.O.D. This one is another smaller one, Clover. Clover mm -hmm. movie was shot here. Um, we have some other ones, Diary of a Lunatic, True Adventures of Wolf Boy. That's coming up at um, the Buffalo International Film Festival. Yeah, it'll so be these are some there, of the, yeah. what you were saying, the indie thread. These are some of those up and coming names. We have a lot of yeah, those Yeah, we have a really great indigenous film community here. These are talented people. I would put them up against anybody in Los Angeles or New York. They are very, very talented filmmakers and film technicians behind the scene. Wow. Great actors, too, believe it or not, and lots of them. Right, uh, absolutely. We were just showing um, yeah. the video of Addison. He what wrote that movie, yep. was the lead actor, directed it, and he's from L.A. So people are coming from yeah. Hollywood to Buffalo. To Buffalo, and he is, uh, we are so proud of Addison. He grew up here yep. in Buffalo and went to Los Angeles, is working very closely with Chadwick Boseman and um, you know a variety of great uh, people in Los Angeles. But it was very important for him to bring his film back to his yeah. hometown. And it really is very touching and moving. And um, he uh, he comes from a great family, yeah. and uh, we are just so proud of what he's accomplished in his life. Absolutely, supporting his hometown and the yeah. rise of us. And but tell us. I know you can't tell us who might be coming <laughs> up, okay? But just tell us, can we get excited maybe about anything that might be coming here? I Buffalo? think you'll be very excited. Uh, probably uh, by spring of next year, there will be a whole bunch of people that uh, will be very familiar to people okay. in uh, Western New York that have, you know, or actually throughout the world that will right. come through Western New York. But yeah, it's I got the weirdest job I think in Buffalo <laughs> because we know all this stuff, but right. we can't talk about it because they keep everything so secret. And you, you know, know, over here we're digging for clues and yeah, pieces all the time. But you know what? You heard it here first. Yeah. Next spring, you're gonna see it all and over. You'll see it on Eyewitness News Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely, yeah, that yeah. is so exciting. But what you can see right now, we have yep. some film festivals going on. The yeah. Niagara International Film Festival just started, oh, and it's so. Exciting, yeah. But tell me for people, I've never been to a film festival. Like, what are they like? What can you expect? Well, you know the. Niagara International Film Festival, Bill Cowell is such a, uh, a great guy uh, who really started this festival, oh man, 13, 14 years ago, and it's blossomed into this really, really nice festival. Uh, the same thing with the Buffalo International Film Festival. There's some great movies that are, that are 
there as well. Mm -hmm. Some of these movies were shot here, some not, but it gives an opportunity for the independent filmmakers to show their sort of, um, you know, their movies. And right. it's really a great uh, thing. And they do them really all over the country, mm -hmm. but there's, there's some really nice ones here in Western yeah. New York. Two big ones coming up, oh, one yeah. starting early October, Niagara Falls International Festival going on now. Before I let you go, I want to yeah. talk about something exciting for the Buffalo Niagara uh, Film Commission, the oh, LMGI yeah. Awards in LA. You're sending yeah. somebody out there The tomorrow. Location Managers Guild of uh, internationally, right? Yeah. These are the location managers for in London, in Paris, so they're, they're all over the world. Uh, we were nominated for the Best Film Commission Award for 2019, so tomorrow night, uh, Rich Waller, Director of Operations, is headed to Los Angeles to, uh, to you know, be recognized, yeah. and uh, we're just very privileged to have been nominated, and keep your fingers crossed, because we might come home with a trophy, I'm oh, not sure. We are absolutely like an Oscar, keeping, you know? <laughs> we are absolutely keeping our fingers crossed. We're so excited for everything going yeah. on in Western Europe. We know you're a big part of that, Tim. Thank you. Well, thank you. And I'll you be calling much. you from yes. now through next spring to see what we can find out. We might even be able to get you a part. Uh, oh, I know, I know. Don't get me excited, <laughs> don't get me excited, because we still have more to come here on 7 Eyewitness News.